Recently, I asked you guys to show me your shiny Pokemon collection from the games, plushies, cards, anything you have, and this is what you had to show me. I'm gonna go through my own shiny collection at the end of the video. I wanna focus on what you guys sent in first. My Arceus collection before I got a new Switch and had to start over? Why couldn't you transfer them over? Or trade? Oh no. Oh, they're in Pokemon Home. They're safe and sound. I feel a lot better now. I hope you're able to finish that shiny shiny decks. It's not something I've been able to do. Pretty good start so far. That's pretty impressive. I really love my Go collection since I don't really shiny hunt in the console games. Hey, whatever game you like shiny hunting in, it's just always fun to find a shiny. Wait a minute. Look at all these shiny legendaries. I didn't even know all of these could be shiny in the game. All of these either full odds or outbreak hunted as I'm yet to get the shiny charm because I need some violet exclusives. Wait a minute. You've been going crazy. How many shinies are there? Is this a full box? Umbreon? My current Violet collection and my Go collection. I see you flexing with the dual collections. There's some pretty cool shinies here. To only have, what is that? Eight shinies and have, what, well, Halucha, Iron Hands, the, the Metal Robot T-Tar guy, <laughs> Iron Thorns. Pretty good. Let's look at Go. 1,021 shinies? Oh my god. What I'd be most interested in in seeing like all these shiny collections, like what is the rarest shiny that people have? Let me know in the comments your rarest shiny. With something like this, the sheer magnitude of the collection is so impressive, but I need to know. Featuring BM7, my shiny Alpha Toxicroak, and my Violet Shinies pre-shiny charm. Oh, I absolutely love that. BM7, the shiny Toxicroak. Eight foot six? Sounds accurate. <laughs> absolutely love to see a frog named after me. Shiny New Year Pikachu, which was my first catch of 2023. I love this so much. The hat is so fun and it's perfect for a shiny Pokemon. The shiny Pikachus and Go with the different hats always felt so special. I think I have one or two and I really love them. Hey, Buff, what do you got for me? I want that card so badly. I have opened up a disgusting disgusting a disgusting amount of packs in this set trying to pull that card and graded at a 10. at some point i might just need to buy it right hello mr pm7 i would like to show you my scarlet and violet shiny collection that just keeps growing huh. i used a team of shiny vulpix and nine tails to propose to my fiance this past june I, I i need to know more i still haven't shared this part of the proposal Eight years ago, uh, Troilus offered up a shiny Ninetales in the Facebook group that we met. I claimed it and Jem was upset and declared me her Pokemon rival. Eight years later, I gave her a shiny of every Vulpix form as a proposal. That is so unbelievably sweet and wholesome. Shiny Man 90 would never disappoint in a video like this. Caught Bonnie and Clyde within 10 encounters of each other, then caught Moe less than 100 encounters after that. 4,096 odds on all three. That's insane luck. Are you kidding me? Bonnie, Clyde and Moe. <laughs> My proud shiny haul from over the years. I really popped off in Violet, especially with no shiny charm. People's shiny collections in the new games are honestly crazy, and I love it. My first in-game shiny that took 10 minutes to find full odds, and the one that took six hours of picnic method with the shiny charm. Oh my god, a tale of two halves. But both shinies are so great. Ooh, this is a pretty cool collection. Most of my physical stuff and most of my Pokemon Go shinies. The Go shinies are always cool, but I'm interested in the physical collection. Wow, I love the shiny Charizards framed. That's a pretty cool touch. I haven't seen anything like that. And the shiny Mega Gengar is sick too. I wound up finding five full odd shinies, Jumpluff, Slowking, Hariyama, Breloom, and Heracross before beating the league in my Violet playthrough. Also included my color coordinated favorites. I love all of these pictures. It's just so aesthetically pleasing. It's nice to look at. Thank you for sorting it this way. 
It, <laughs> it's making me way too happy. This is the first ever time I've played and found shiny ones on any Pokemon game. Not really played since Gen 3, but my boyfriend and I got a switch in Violet slash Scarlet after watching streams. Now I'm addicted. Hey, congrats on all the shinies. It's really cool to see that so many more people are getting into shiny hunting. It's, it's nice that it's a little bit more accessible and... It's really just more fun to see the shinies in the overworld. Just got my second shiny when I finished my story game. All right, let's see what this is. A little bit of a mystery, a little surprise. Whoa, that was fun. Oh, wow. It was actually recorded of when the shiny popped up. Congrats on that, and thank you for sharing the clip. A shiny look apparently only works with Gyarados. Two at a time in a Legends Arceus outbreak, and three from a Violet outbreak. This is one of the more random things I've seen. And shiny Gyarados is just one of the better shinies out there. The two in-game shinies I have were both full odds I found while just normally playing through the story. The cards are some I have personally pulled, including my pride and joy shiny Charizard VMAX. Someday I'll join you. Someday. Some of my faves that I've gotten this gen from trades, Masuda, or just from finding. I really love the singular pictures like this. It's really nice and just shows the shinies that mean a little bit more. And that Haxorus looks so good. The Salamence, the Altaria. Good choices, great shinies. Congrats. Hello there. <laughs> Why is it staring at me like that? Last year on Christmas Eve, Oh, I love that. The special Go Shinies with a hat or a bow, whatever unique thing it's wearing. I think they're some of the coolest and there's nothing better than a shiny deli bird for Christmas Eve. Of course I know what the Dumbo reference is, but it's just so funny to see four pictures and the only one where I can see a nickname is just Don Fan. Dumbo. <laughs> it just feels like you're calling Don Fan out and calling it a dummy. Hey Patrick, what am I now? Uh, stupid. I started watching your videos with my husband and then I subscribed to you myself two days ago and today I finally found a shiny tarantula then 30 seconds later I found a shiny swablu you know what they say when you subscribe to BM7 you find more shinies it's not a myth it's not a hunch it's a scientifically proven fact while nowhere near my full collection I thought I'd make this fun for you one Pokemon in each of these pictures isn't shiny try to find them them. I love this. Thank you. Right away, I know the Shellos is shiny. I know the Togekiss is shiny. Um, I think the the Leafeon is shiny because it the body's a little darker. I think the Glaceon is shiny because it's a little darker, and I think the Elekid is a little bit lighter. Burmy's not shiny here. Oh, it could also be the Glaceon. Ah, uh, it feels like cheating, but I know the Togekiss is not shiny in this picture. But this one I, I would have gotten for sure because everything else, I actually know these shinies. Going back to the other picture, I am not confident in my choice. Good luck to everyone playing in the comments meet my best buddy waddles there's not much better when you're playing pokemon than getting a shiny and giving it a nickname that you love as long as you're playing pokemon you're gonna have waddles by your side big fan of waddles no way my prize trio of shiny tatsugiri one of each form this is absurdly cool. All three of them together, they're very cool. They're so unique for shinies too. Oh, you're making me want to hunt for these soon. You're making me want to hunt. This person has 2,439 shinies and go. That is absurdly impressive. And honestly, I'm just here to look at the shiny Pikachu with the fun hats. Got my favorites, Dragonite and a shiny Dragonair. Hey, that's actually really cool. I've never seen that plush. I don't know if that's like unique or if that is official. It looks pretty official either way. Shiny Pokemon plushies are really cool. I don't know if I really have any, and if I do have any, it might be just be like one or two. Here is my boy Waffle, and I love him to bits. I love you. <laughs> oh, that's Waffle. I went to Japan in 2018, and at the Pokemon Center at Nagoya Airport, I found the shiny Mimikyu plush, and I simply had to buy him. Oh my god, that is so freaking cool. I'm very worried that this is unlocking a desire to collect shiny Pokemon plushies. But this is really 
really cool. What a good shiny too. Wow. This one was a pretty big W. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. If you're gonna get a shiny unknown, this is the one to get. Even though it looks like an eyeball with, with like three eyelashes. My shiny collection and I'm colorblind as well. That is incredibly impressive. It's so frustrating that they don't have the shiny sound in these games like Legends Arceus or even the shiny sparkles like they didn't Let's Go. Hopefully they fix this with DLC. Hopefully in the future games, they bring back the sound effect or something. Congrats on all the shinies, even with it being tougher. Oh my God. No way. That is one of my favorite Pokemon cards of all time. I pulled this card as a kid and I kept it in pretty good condition until I had it graded last year. You kept this in this good of a condition from childhood to now? That might be the most impressive part of this. Hey, we haven't seen too many shiny plushies. I absolutely love seeing these. And if you're gonna have shiny plushies, this is a pretty good group of five to have. Heesh. All the shinies I've caught in Violet so far, the shiny Sneasel was given to me by a friend. I love that these are labeled with the nickname. We got the best shiny team ever assembled. Fisher, Floss, Optart, Bliss, Tina. By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. Here's some of my babies. Ooh, I love golden Pokemon cards. Anytime I pull a golden Pokemon card, it's there's not much like it. And of course, course, the shiny fish. I wish I could show them all, but here are a few of my shinies throughout the years. I have more cards, but they're grouped together with other non-shiny cards. Hey! Pokemon, what is it? Quest? I don't even remember what this game is called. I love shiny hunting in this. Wow, I am so happy someone included their collection in this game. Oh, that's so many good memories. Look at that. Lugia? Is that Gen 2 shiny Lugia? Oh my God. Some old Gen shinies for you. The Lugia was my first ever shiny. Failed it as a teen, reclaimed it last year. Ooh, is that a shiny Charizard in Scarlet and Violet? That's a cool one to have. Probably one of the rarer shinies you could have in the games right now. Congrats on that and congrats on the rest. First full odd shiny. Let's see what it is. Celebi. Ooh, what a first full odd shiny. Congrats on that shiny man. That's a really freaking cool. One. Hey, although the best Pokemon in my shiny collection has to be the shiny Umbreon. That looks pretty legit too. Shiny Umbreon, just such a good shiny. Oh, no way. Is that a shining Charizard? I need, oh, I need to stare at these for way too long. Gold stars. I think that's Call of Legends from Gen 4. What did we, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that shiny Mew, the Japanese card? I don't know if I've even seen that. Oh my God, this, this makes me so happy. You custom painted Funko Pop figures count? These are a few that I did. Yes, they absolutely do. This is so cool and so unique. I actually think they count almost a little bit more because no one else is going to be showing off custom painted shiny Funko Pops. The Mewtwo and the Charizard especially are so clean. Like I immediately want both of the bottom two. Oh, I love the way you're showing these off. First shiny, favorite shiny, favorite Pokemon and longest hunt. Getting a shiny Emboar in Gen 5 is way too cool. Shiny Iron Bundle is actually really sick. Nidoking is one of the cooler Pokemon out there. And hey, your first shiny, it's always gonna be a special one. Thank you for showing this like this. This is my background for when I start content creation and I love my shiny Dragonair and Rayquaza plushie, as you should. This is very, very cool. I really love the plushies. Good luck, I hope things go well and Hopefully you can add a shiny plushie or two to the display at some point. Oh, I love this. Decided to make a nice collage of all my shinies in home, Pokemon Scarlet, and some of my best full art shiny cards. Bonus shiny Celebi and Asui and Zora plush. This looks great and it's so satisfying to look at. Thank you for making this. My brain is very happy looking at this. <laughs> this is a small collection. But it looks so good. That, that's really beautiful. I absolutely love that. The colors are just so pretty and pop so well. Whoa! Here's a bunch of shiny Pokemon I've made. They're all life-size, by the way. That is absolutely unique. Look at that. Wow. I was not expecting to see a life-size shiny Luxray. But I'm here for it. Hey, that's old school Pokemon. 
some of my faves from 2022 all found after subscribing of course do you need a better reason to subscribe for that bm7 luck these are incredibly cool shinies wow no way this took me over 20,000 eggs to finally get a Masuda shiny. Started with Litten and Sun and Moon and ended with this. I am so sorry. <laughs> These are my top tier shiny guys. I couldn't include this without the shiny Swab Blue art piece my partner did for me. Ah, oh, man. I love the Butterfree. I know it's not the actual shiny, but in my heart, shiny Butterfree is pink like that, just like in the anime. And Swab Blue's really cute. Oh, I love this picture. <laughs> Big V Sheesh. The first shiny Pokemon I ever found was all the way back in Pokemon Platinum. I think. 2009 2010 ish and since then i've accumulated so many shinies over the pokemon games pokemon go pokemon cards and i'm gonna share some of my favorites with you now like most people when pokemon go dropped it became my life for that summer and really the only complaint i had for a while is where are the shinies this feels like the perfect game to include shinies and then they added a few i did get a shiny magikarp all of the full odd shinies and go I get, I name full odd squad. And this shiny Gyarados from 2017 makes me very happy, but not as happy as the one next to it, the shiny Dusk Noir. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a Halloween event where Shuppet, Sableye, and Duskull got shinies. I think they were some of the first shinies out there. 2017 too, we were out shiny hunting. I think at like midnight or one in the morning, I finally got one of these and I couldn't have been happy. Apparently I have more shiny Pokemon cards than I expected, but there's a few I really want to show off starting with this guy. When I got this card as a kid, I had no idea how rare it was. And I had no idea that it was number 66 out of 64. The Shining Magikarp is one of my favorite cards of all time. I love it so, so much. And the only thing I wish is that it was in slightly better condition. Next up, we have some shiny cards that I pulled in high school, and it's these really cool reverse rare shinies. I don't know why, but these cards always stood out so much to me. It was so cool to get a reverse rare slot that was a shiny. They're none of the really strong Pokemon, but all of these are really good shinies in their own right absolutely love these cards similar era but slightly cooler pokemon i have these shiny legendaries i think from the call of legends set uh, my memory might be failing me and the final two shiny cards i want to show off are two that i absolutely adore shinies with the golden border this gyarados card in particular is one of my favorite of all time i think the art is absolutely incredible with the gold greninja manaphy gyarados just Perfection. I absolutely love Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and when they were the main game everyone played, it became the game I stored all of my shinies in. I don't know why the date is so messed up, but I found this shiny ditto at level 10 on Route 34. This was maybe the second or third full odd shiny Pokemon I ever found. I thought it was lost forever. I'm so happy to see it here. Just as exciting, I still have this shiny Golbat that I found in a playthrough of Pokemon Platinum, where I began my very first shiny badge quest or beating Pokemon only using shiny Pokemon. I made a goal to find a shiny before every single gym, before I even started making YouTube content. I found this before gym one. I found this before gym two. And then I stopped the, you know, the little project. I did so much fourth gen Pokey Radar hunting that I got a lot of extra shinies that I used for trading and actually got a few Masuda bread shinies from people. Pretty cool. And finally, my very first shiny Mamoswine. Mamoswine's my favorite Pokemon. I'm pretty sure this is the Pokemon I used in my first competitive battle ever where I was getting absolutely destroyed, but Mamoswine helped me come back in the battle and get my first win. This is just a fraction of my shiny Pokemon collection. If you want to see a full video of it, let me know in the comments, but just in general, I love shinies.